since Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was the last and final messenger. He was not sent only for the Muslims or for the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humanity. And the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is mentioned in the scriptures of all the major world religions. It's even mentioned in the Bible. If you read the Old Testament, it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God says, I shall raise them a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. This prophecy, which is mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, Almighty God speaks to Moses, peace be upon him, and says, I shall raise them for prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. Many of the Christians, they say that this prophecy refers to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when we ask them that how does this prophecy refer to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, and they tell us that here the prophecy says, I shall raise them for prophet from among thy brethren like unto thee. The prophet to come should be like Moses, peace be upon him. And the similarities the Christians give between Jesus and Moses, peace be upon them, is that Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were Jews. And both Prophet Jesus and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them were prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities for the fulfillment of the prophecy, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible, after Moses, peace be upon him, fulfilled the prophecy. All the prophets mentioned after Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, were Jews and all were prophets of God. For example, Prophet Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Joel, John the Baptist, all of them, they were Jews and all of them were prophets of God. If these two are the only similarities, then there are several prophets mentioned in the Bible which fulfill this prophecy. In fact, if we analyze, this prophecy does not befit anyone better than the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. If we analyze Prophet Moses, and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them. Both of them were born naturally. They had a mother and they had a father. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was born miraculously without any male intervention. He had a mother, but he had no father. And it is mentioned in the Quran about his birth, in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 47. It's also mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number one, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter number one, verse number 35, that he was born miraculously, without any male intervention. So if we analyze, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Furthermore, we know that Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them, they were married and they had children. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not married and he had no children. So Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him, and Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. Further, when we read the Quran and the Bible, we come to know that Moses, peace be upon him, he had a natural death. Same like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He too had a natural death. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. According to the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number 158, he was raised up alive. And according to the Bible also, it is the same. But many Christians say that he was crucified. Even if we agree what they say, though I've given a talk proving from the Bible that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was not crucified, irrespective whether he was raised up alive or whether he was crucified, he did not die a natural death. So if we analyze, we come to know that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is unlike Moses, peace be upon him. 
Further, we come to know from the Quran and the Bible that Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were accepted by the people as a whole. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not accepted by the people as a whole. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 11. He came to his own and his own people forsook him. So he was not accepted by his people as a whole. Furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, they were worldly kings. That means they could give the punishment of life and death to whoever they wanted. They had that power. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 18, verse number 36. He says, my kingdom is not of this world. And furthermore, Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them, they bought a new law. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not bring a new law. He came to confirm the previous law. As what is mentioned clearly in the Quran, in Surah Saf, chapter number 61, verse number 6, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the son of Mary, he said to the children of Israel, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, I have been sent as a messenger to you, confirming the law what has come before me and giving glad tidings of a messenger to come whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. It's also mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 157. It says, they follow the messenger, the unlettered prophet, which is mentioned in the scriptures, the law and the gospel. So when we read the Quran, it says that it will be prophesied in the scriptures, in the law and the gospel about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been prophesied in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. And further it's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, that anyone who does not hearken to his words, I will require of him. Some translations say, I will take revenge. That means anyone who does not follow this messenger to come, Almighty God will take revenge from these people.